Hey peeps, Pinkle16 here and another blooper of Star Medus to commentate over. We're up to blooper 40 part 4 and... Well, finally we're here. In case you're completely unaware, and you probably might be, I started these commentaries due to a commentary that I saw, I think it was last year or something, where... It was a re-upload of a really old commentary of some guy commenting over this very video. He sounded like he was British. And he had several things to say about it. I'm going to link him in the description. And I might further on from a couple of points that he stated. But... You might hear me shuffling a bit, p few pieces of paper because this is the only thing I'm actually going to script because of the fact that I'm going over what the other guy has said, as well as this video. I'm pretty aware that there were commentaries around this time for this particular one. There's multiple videos d detailing this, but I'll just be the latest incarnation. The 2015 version, the one with sets, kinda. Oh, also, something else will come into this video. You'll see it in a second. Yep. Notice anything different about the location now? It is now fully beginning the transition into blooper land. The high-res textures. And also, he continued to use the eyes for a very long period of time, but eventually changed it back to the regular ones because apparently they didn't fit according to him. So these are the high-res textures, and, they're and only the face is going to remain this way for quite a few videos. Do not be surprised. It kind of makes it look chibi, cutesy, anime-ish. We've been declaring war for six bloopers and three parts. This is just drilling into our heads at this point. Let's name every group we also have. Also, apparently, they've been... It, sa it says, you see, Blooper Stopper has declared war with you. I get the meaning of that sentence, but it could also mean that they're fighting with the YouTube Rangers against somebody else, which makes no sense considering they're the opposite sides of a war. <laughs> You've been preparing for war for six bloopers. Seriously, what have you been doing? Seriously. Ugh. Let's go. What friends? You mean the ones that keep disappearing every video? You're just repeating dialogue by this point, by just having yourself constantly declare that you're at war when you aren't even doing anything except declaring this constantly every video until we actually begin fighting. This is just unnecessary drilling into the head at this point. More meetings! A final meeting! Oh, I bet there's gonna be more. And let's, let's just start meetings for no reason. Oh, I thought we were going to a meeting, not cutting to some conversation. Why would they be looking at, uh, after him? Sure, it's not like they've protected every other person from the blooper stoppers and they've just died in the basement. That is a really inappropriate... That, that is a really inappropriate... 
The blooper stoppers are after everyone. So having them look for him makes no sense in specifics because they're looking for everyone who's a YouTube ranger. It's not like J-Dude means anything in the grand scheme of things. Also, why are we constantly fade cutting? Seriously, that's when you move to another scene, not into other, you know, into other clips. That's just, that gives the wrong impressions. And also, the question why are you season 1 and 2 Mario is a very inappropriate question, but considering some of the jokes that we've had in the past few videos, there's no reason why you'd be surprised now. We've had a, a, a comparison before. I already told you, we were going to have more comparisons. And this is it. This is the most inappropriate way you can continue to describe some of the stuff. And he cannot even determine the differences between his own friends. No wonder they vanish all the time. Thanks, Jadu, for pointing out how ridiculously inappropriate that is. I'm sure that since they're talking to you, you expect them to have a different voice. If you're going to point out a comparison, have it mean something. We were just told we were going to a meeting, but then cut to a discussion between two people. And only now do you properly bring up the fact that being in their base means dire consequences. I repeated this because I forgot some script lines. More newcomers and more pointless introducing to people we may never see again. The guy in the other video said, So, Jacob, you don't know who's in your own house. I don't think that's a relevant question at this point because he doesn't know who's in his house because he keeps changing every member every single video. Yes, because we needed more pointless flashbacks when we're in the middle of war, as you say. Oh, and usually- Wait, hold on. Whoa, this is very loud. Uh... And usually hoping somebody won't find you is the best way to make someone notice you. It's a cliche, and I'm not going to comment on the name. Uh, stuff. Masking scenes. The, 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 these masking scenes. They're going to get worse later in the video. J-Dude and SM3 have both vanished because masking. Very lazy scene. You could have had them look up at Luigi because it looks like a really lazy shot. This chase scene is padding out the video for extra minutes. There is no point to this in relation to the blooper stoppers' plot. It's pointless filler. Apparently, people cannot take this video seriously if it isn't 12 minutes long of pointless banter. Fella! I kind of wish I had the fast forward button now. Yes, sigh at the very pointless scene here. Bye, J-Dude, you're never appearing again. Also, nice emphasis of certain words like biggest ultimate brawl and with us sounding epic and all when it's really not. This isn't like the 15th meeting you've had already. This grammar, I swear. This grammar, I swear! Also, men's. Again, with the assumptions on the internet that everyone on the internet is a guy. There are no girls, apparently. Yep, because we couldn't handle him dying and him reviving about three times in the last video, so now we're gonna do it again! He says they can't back down, but what have they even done to start it? Uh, 
That's what she said. Pointless filler and inappropriate. You're meant to treat this with respect as a war, not some fancy party. JD! Inappropriate, plus it's an overused joke. Who's with you? Whoever you haven't blocked or completely removed from your videos, give or take three years, none of these people will care either. Except Enzo. I'm gonna repeat from the other video. So everyone is four people. And the reason that is, is mainly because I can't remember all the characters he's completely ditched in the last year or whatever. Newcomers will appear and never will again. Yeah, sure, you decided to join in for war and then you'll never appear again. And we're back to this. Yep, we're back we're back to the meanwhiles turning into the laters. This scene should really say later, but me meanwhile means something happening at the same time as the meeting. Meanwhile, the meeting ended. This just makes no sense. That is really pointless. That is really pointless. Okay, take any rumor in the series as being real because that man seen this a force pull the revival. Best way to get these morals across, bring them back! And also more hard grammar. expect to hear this music a lot more often. Most of these internet- more of these internet term thingies. You. <laughs> Using you instead of Y-O-U happens in texts, not a video. Unless a video is about that subject, but he wouldn't be smart enough to even think about that kind of thing. Uh, pointless cut to Enzo? Oh, and watch this, this is gonna be glorious. And yes, Pokemon music because Enzo loves Pokemon. Da -da 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 -da. Yep! The clock's a clone machine now. They have a clone machine brought out of nowhere, and it's the clock. Remember when it was being called a time machine about 10 bloopers ago? Now it's being called a clone machine! This inconsistency, help my soul. Also, what can Enzo not do alone that requires ha ha him having clones in order to succeed? We've literally seen this guy talking in a couple of se sequences pointlessly and dying for half a video. What the hell requires him to have clones? Because even with clones, that would just be more idiots to destroy. Well, weren't we talking about Sinbad dying uh, in like earlier in the series? And he was supposedly more powerful than Enzo because Enzo has not been shown to do anything. Again with the cliche lines being butchered because this one can't speak for his life. I guess, I guess this is just an example of the plot demands it. That's a lot of Enzo's. When did the clock become a clone machine again? Oh yeah, because the plot demands it. More meanwhile later cuts. Again, slipping into this bad territory. Meanwhile means at the same time as another event. If one of the clones is here, or in general... Like, watch this. If one of the clones is here, or in general, all of the clones, then why are you using meanwhile? This should mean later. When we just seen them in the castle, saying, Yay! What are More pointless filler! Okay, I'm gonna put... 
the, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that really fast forward scene because it's the best bit I laugh at in the other commentary, and it's the best way to describe how long this takes. What? Yeah. He didn't attack the bloopers zombies because all he wanted to do was jump in a water stream for about two minutes. I think you might want to say that not being stupid lying to every single other blooper you've made is some three. Look who's talking. NICE MASKING! Also, wouldn't the clones be exactly the same as the original? Also, fun fact, Enzo is the only one who will remain with you into the shift into half two, and after this whole thing is over. They're clones, SM3. The terms mean the same thing no matter which one you're talking to. Also, by print plots 2 to 5, you will not be missed as failed exper- You will not be missed as failed experiments that did not attack the blooper stoppers properly. Really, you won't because you're not like- It's not like you're gonna appear again in a prominent scene. Again, character teleporting! We need more scenes with other people. Also, have we done anything productive this video? I guess we had the only conflict between the blooper stoppers and our council the entire video. Now let's have 12 minutes of filler. Uh, he won't die again so long as SM3's face doesn't take over and kills him again. Take a look at Roblox goes crazy 18. Point and laugh at Sinbad! Da -da 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 -da. What dreams? He literally has the same dreams and aspirations as you because every character is the same in this series. It's no wonder they keep vanishing all the time. Uh, even though this is a video, in the story, Sinbad is dead. So why would he care? Get this, this random is literally created for this purpose. For this purpose that he's about to do. Sweet! Hi! Random from nowhere! Make the text bigger! Yep! It was made directly for this. Okay, bye, Sonic fans. It's not like you'll appear again anyway. Even if you were to live. You'll just die in a corpse in the basement, like every other character in this series. Um, Netmancy, how do you know that Sonic fan is extra power or whatever? Well, wait, don't question it, because they somehow know every character's powers and whatever. <laughs> Except now we've completely forgotten SM3's little fireball power thing. And also, even if he's going to be more powerful than ever, he's still not going to be able to defeat an entire army. That's just going to give him death again. Insert Shia LeBouf thingy here. I don't like memeing, honestly. I'm just doing this because it make, makes sense in this context. Yes, let's cut to the scene already. Nice editing, idiot. Blur out his death. <laughs> It's not like we can show the kids blood. 
even though there's none. Just do it! And Sonic Fan Forever hated SM3. And death is displayed by a shiny white light, and he was never seen again. Wow! Really terrible green screening! What did I say about green disappearing on a green screen? Duh! Uh, it's a green screen. And how can you see yourself when you're dead? And also, appa heaven apparently looks like a Windows Media Player visualizer. If this is an attempt at sounding poetic, then it's really bad. Get this, there's gonna be an inconsistency in the way he died. Get this, hold on, you'll see it soon. It's a poetic attempt, Sinbad, shut up! He's dead because apparently Enzo shot him. Tell me, you lot! Do you remember seeing that at all in any previous blooper? Wasn't he dead because he was sent out to fight the blooper stoppers? But again, consistency. And it's gonna kill the consistency again. Also, Sinbad apparently has grey gloves because of green screening. Uh... What's this inconsistency? Sonic fan was bringing him back, not God saying to give him another chance. Unless Sonic fan is triggering this, but seriously, that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. We were literally just given a whole bunch of dialogue saying Sonic fan was sacrificing himself for Sinbad. Which is a really dumb decision by the way. But of course, we're not going to care about the random fans. Because I keep vanishing every video. Who wouldn't? Oh yes, the introduction of a third color code. That's a fate. <laughs> let's, let's see how many color codes we get through before we get to his final one. His friends that he might forget. What does I will come back mean? Does he mean I will come back to the dead? I guess that's hinting further at SM3's phase. What is his dream? We are not told this! And it's not like we're ever gonna be told. Yay, shiny white light for revival! And yay, for another color code that will be completely butchered by green screening. Well, no duh! Ha 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 Yay, mask fades. And also, nice cut off text! Learn to edit! I'm gonna tell my group that's in my Skype name. Oh yes, I practically forgot you were going for war anyway. We're preparing again! This padding is incredible. Also, apparently the clone incident never happened because they're going right back there again. Let's cut the crap. This whole video has been pointless filler! Nothing productive has occurred for the last nine minutes! Also get this, the most pointless scene is gonna happen next. Nice masking. Not really. Yep, 
This is the most pointless scene. Eh. New bloopers offer for no reason, and you are invading. What is this for? Seriously, there is no movement except what you can gather from the screen, which means it's just about to do something, but it's nothing. Hey. Nice editing. Stupid, weird things, things. I don't even know what the hell this is. Hey. Hey. Also, this is apparently a very old joke, and obviously it's very stupid because it's in the video of pointless filler. Hey. And very pointless. Did I mention pointless? Hey, 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 hey. Yes, give credits to the one person you'll only give credits to for the entire run. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm Navi! Hey, hey listen! Peter. Hey! <laughs> oh, now they start invading the castle. Where's everyone else now? You shouldn't back down. I don't see anyone else following that encouragement. By the way, that wasn't a meeting, that was an encouragement meeting, because there wasn't anything discussed there at all, except Let's fight the blooper stoppers! Da -da 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 -da. Also watch this, this is gonna prove what I said earlier. Oh, yeah. Yep, see what I mean about the inconsistency? Batman is in that room forever! Pointless filler now because we need more minutes of this. Not fighting the bloopers up as this. I hear echoes. Uh, same logic as blooper 37. Are you actually legitimately kidding me? Along with Japanese text for no reason. It's a video, not a text machine. And also, we only have two minutes left of this darn thing. Also, apparently God lies to people because get this, this is going to happen in the next scene. Stupid filler. Yep, Sinbad even believes that Enzo shot him. Even though that never happened. More pointless filler. scenes like this this video nice padding douchebag insert sm3 and jadu going <sighs> here Also, we could have cut directly to this scene since it apparently means something. And apparently, get this. Now the clones come back. But only for one scene. You could just get this Enzo himself, not the clone. Sweet, with probably the same water even though we don't know how they got flooded. How absolutely stupid. They're flooded, that's it. And also, yay! But you know, Yoshi will come back again because SM3 can't hide Yoshi on the top of the castle for crud. Again with the meanwhile later scenarios. Don't bother asking how he can talk underwater too. Logic in the series, you can apparently talk underwater and not drown. Uh, 
Uh, it's been war for real for six bloopers and three parts. <sighs> You'll still have the suit, douchebag, until we change you to the doppelgangers. Hi, random character, the brother who will never appear again because screw his brother. Who should care about that? And also, what about backing down with the background, the Batman room incident? And the war has been beginning since Blooper 34. Yeah, it's begun since Blooper 34. Who will win? That's obvious. Simon 3 doesn't want himself to die. That's just unheard of. Stay tuned for part 5 of Super Mario 64 Bloopers 40. Woohoo! Pointless filler! Overused joke! And so, that's an overused joke. No, no duh! But we're not gonna get to part 5 yet because we've got about like 5 videos in between then. So next time, I'll see you when Roblox goes crazy 19. And then, we'll continue the journey of his videos. Because he starts releasing more types. So see y'all, have a good day, peace.